C A N C E R. A simple six letter word that directly affects approximately 40% of America. This dreadful disease constantly surrounds us, drastically affecting our family, friends, and loved ones. Kari Roan, Prosper High School's Dean of Instruction, can attest to the tragedies that this disease brings upon families. He was admitted to the hospital um, July 27th last year, and they um, officially diagnosed it um, about four days later as stage four cancer. Treatment for Ms. Roan's husband, Quincy, shortly followed the diagnosis. He had surgery August 10th. Um, that's when the doctor said, I still remember his face. He, he couldn't really look at me in the eye because um, I'm sorry, he didn't know. Um, still hard to talk about. He didn't think it was going to be as bad as it was. And uh, when he opened him up, he, it was everywhere. He said the cancer was so much worse. He thought that he was going to be able to go in and just cut it out and he would be fine. Um, and I remember when he talked to me, he couldn't look at me and he still had a little bit of blood on his scrubs. And I thought, oh my goodness, that's my husband's blood. And um, they, it's not like in the movies where they say, oh, you've got six months or two months or whatever. It's not like that. Um, the good doctors, at least, they don't do that. They, uh, they realize that they're not in control of that and they tell you it's bad or it's hopeless or whatever. And our doctors just said that it was really bad and that their goal was to prolong life so that he could um, he could spend more time with his family. Miss Roan would be beside her husband every step of the way. I pretty much lived at the hospital, so I would pack a bag um, of work clothes and clothes for dance for Talonettes, and then I would sleep at the hospital and, um, you know, tend to him, check on him, make sure he was okay. And then I would shower at the hospital, leave from the hospital, go to work, um, go back to the hospital after work, go home for a minute, make sure my kids were okay. Um, just try and make a meaningful connection with them um, because I knew that things were di really difficult for them. Sadly, his fight against cancer would not be enough to overtake it. Never would have thought someone who was 37 would get diagnosed and then be gone six months later. This year, Prosper High School will be standing up against cancer. Um, Cash for Cancer starts today. It will end on October 23rd for the Breast Cancer Pep Rally. The funds raised for Cash for Cancer will be in conjunction with Relay for Life. The money that we uh, raise and donate to Relay for Life will help benefit the people that have cancer who have even survived cancer, like pay bills. They'll help find research and help find a cure, hopefully. The research for cancer wouldn't be anywhere near it is today if it wasn't for the funds that are donated by the people. It's important to bring, to donate to those kinds of things because it brings awareness to something we'd probably like to forget exists. And um, even if we never find a cure, which let's hope that we do, but even if we never find a cure, just because it helps connect us with other people and their loss. Reporting for Eagle Nation News, I'm Mackenzie Hamilton.